The life of a detective is not easy, and it's a far cry from the life so often portrayed on the screen by actors in the TV crime dramas. At least that's what a real live detective says, and he ought to know he's the guy out in the real streets solving crime and chasing the real bad guys. Our crime specialist Tom Walsh spent some time with this Salt Lake police detective, a man recently honored as Utah's Policeman of the Year. Tom says he is a man who has earned the respect of his fellow officers. His name is Ron Nelson, alias Racer. He's wanted by the Salt Lake City Police Department because he is good at what he does. He solves a lot of crimes. Criminals on the street know it, and so do his peers. Detective Nelson is a recognized leader in the field of case solution through the involvement and application of interrogation skills. There's an old saying, and usually you only hear it at funerals, where they talk about a cop's cop, and probably Ron Nelson, or Racer as we call him, is the closest thing to a cop's cop that there is in the Salt Lake City Police Department. Out of all the officers from all the agencies in Utah, this man was picked Officer of the Year by the Salt Lake City Exchange Club. His fellow detectives kiddingly call him the Audie Murphy of the department. He's gotten service medals, unit citations, and service awards, the most decorated officer in Salt Lake City. Why? Well, his bosses say he has paid his dues, developed skills, and he can gather good information from criminals because they trust him. They know Racer is a straight shooter. Well, I told you, as soon as I can, I'll get a hold of the people and see if they want to deal with your husband. Okay? I'll call you as soon as I get back, okay? Generally, people that I've dealt with in the past, and they know that they can trust me, and that uh, we'll give them the best deal that they can get. And they know that we're not going to put a jacket on them, meaning, meaning uh, we're not going to arrest the guy and say, well, Joe so-and-so told us that you did this, and uh, once you put a jacket on an informant, you get no more information. Racer spent seven and a half years working undercover on the streets of Salt Lake City. He became Ron Stevens, dope dealer and man about town. Hundreds of real narcotic dealers were reeled in. He would arrest people and all the way to jail. They would say that he wasn't a policeman, that he couldn't be a policeman. The policeman couldn't look like, he didn't talk like a policeman, he didn't act like a policeman officer. And he's a hard go-getter. I mean, there's never complaints about what t type of hours we've had to work or any lengths of time we've had to work. One instance, we worked 28 days straight on heroin buys. And I don't think we saw our wives, you know, only in passing during that whole period of time. But he's the type of an individual who uh, just, there, there's no complaints. He'll just go for them. Two guys knocked on the door, man answers the door, and then they come with shotguns. Now, Detective Nelson is working the robbery beat, 30 to 40 cases a week, armed robberies, extortions, with a lot of strong arm robberies, like the case he's working on now, where a woman was walking downtown, knocked down by two people, and her purse was snatched. Fortunately, on this case, the woman wasn't injured, and the citizen that happened to be walking by chased the suspects, and they dropped the purse, and nothing was, was taken. But we're getting a lot of... Uh, purse snatches and thefts in the downtown area by uh, basically transient people. Racer says the public is misled by TV crime shows. He's not involved in a lot of shootouts or chases. He's tackling paperwork 60% of the time. A lot of paperwork. Uh, the arrest, after you get an arrest, that's when your paperwork starts. We. Uh, that's part of the game is being tied down with paperwork. A lot of his time is spent talking to victims, easing their fears. He says you have to be a social worker with a badge. One of his bosses says Racer is a good mix, a hard-nosed cop, yet a compassionate man. An example related during the awards ceremony. The grandmother of a criminal Racer arrested died when he was in jail. Knowing that the defendant's family had always been very close, Officer Nelson obtained permission from the judge, and he and a fellow officer took the defendant from his jail cell and transported him to Ogden to attend his grandmother's funeral and then returned him to his confinement. This event occurred 
on Officer Nelson's day off. He moves through the strata of society, one day receiving an award from the governor, the next talking to an informant about a crime that's about to go down, all part of his job. Certainly didn't get into it because of the money. Most of the time I enjoy dealing with people and helping people. It's an interesting job. Ron Nelson says you have to have the support of your bosses in order to get the job done, and Nelson certainly has received that support. Up next, we'll... Still drinking. 